So in this video we're going to see how to use the QR code plugin. So first off, remember you have to ask us to um, activate the plugin for you. So if you decide to use it, send us a message and we'll activate the plugin for you. Once it's been activated, from your dashboard, scroll down and a left hand menu, you can see here this new item, QR codes. To make a new one, just click add new. So for the URL, you have to type it in here. I'm going to make one for the investor profile on my test site. So I'll take this link, copy it, and then paste it here. For the size, you have to enter something here. I'll go with 400 pixels. The fill color is the color of the code. Uh, we'll make it a blue one. And we'll leave the background uh, Let's see, make the background white. So once I click update, you'll be able to see, or publish, you'll be able to see the change to the color that I made. There, so now it's a blue code. The error handling level, you can leave at 7%. The quiet zone is kind of like a little border on the edge. So if you move it up, that will add space. Since the background's white, you can't really see it, but that will add space around the outside of the code. So we'll leave this at zero for, for this one. And the corner radius just makes the corners a little bit softer in, um, in the whole design. So as I'm moving, you can see it gets a bit rounded at the max. Uh, the edges are very rounded. and At the minimum, all the corners are sharp blocks. We'll just put it in the middle just to add some rounding to the QR code. You can add a logo or a label in the middle of the QR code. There's a few options. You can do label strip, uh, which is will have a space in the middle. So for my label, I'll write uh, sign up today. The font I'll choose, I'll use this one, Alan. For the color, uh, I'm going to make it uh, make it red. the size. It says logo, but it actually refers also to a label. I'm going to make it about this size. The X and Y position. Uh, X is left and right. Y is up and down. So if you put it at 50%, both of these then will be in the middle. If it's a strip, it'll be through the middle like that. If it's a box, let's see. I'll update so you can see it. see a box I had to make it a bit smaller so you could see it now it's in a box um, when it was bigger it the box came out of the edge so it looked like a strip so you can play around with the size there you can also use your logo by um, adding the file here just how you did when you upload it to your dashboard or when you first started your site so you can also have a logo up here in the middle instead of this text. So once you've done this, make sure you update to save all your changes. You can download your QR code right here by clicking download. It'll download the graphic and then you can print it on business cards, flyers, wherever you want. Um, also by downloading the graphic, you can then add it to your media library over here and you can put it as a graphic on your site as well if you want or anywhere else any blog posts anything like that so remember the URL make sure it goes to the right the site you want to link to the size you can choose the size if you leave it if you don't change this you won't see anything so make sure to put a positive number here and then you can change the other settings to make the code look how you want it to visually and codes you've made you can always see them here all QR codes You can see codes you made in the past. You can click edit to edit them again uh, and change the URL or make any other modifications you want to.